kid's annoying. It wasn't even time for me to take him to school. Jeez Louise, you children. Okay, so let me do this for you real quick. The three, uh, we did the great compromise. That was between um, New Jersey, and you have to know, small state, New Jersey and Virginia, big state. Virginia says, I want um, representation based on population. I want it to be equal. What's the compromise? We'll do them both. You get a Senate, you get a House of Reps. You need to be able to explain that, guys. And we know, why do we even care? Because representation gets you more votes, more votes get you more power. Okay, which leads to another problem. So then we have the North versus the South, not New Jersey versus Virginia. Here's our new problem. It is North versus South. Because the South is like, oh, well, we get... now you think it's easy. You count your people, right? Here's what I want you to do. So I'm going to be quiet. Um, if you're on the right-hand side, read this first paragraph. And if you're on the left-hand side, read this second paragraph. Um, you have uh, like a minute and a half to do that. This is a short, 60 seconds to read that. So pause the video and do that now. Go. Okay. So here is the deal. We have a disagreement. So now that we have the great compromise, we are going to create that House of Representatives based on population. So you just think, count your people, right? <laughs> yeah, in America, it's not that easy. Um, the South said, oh, well, I'm going to have lots of representation because we're going to count all our slaves. And we've got tons of slaves. That's going to make our representation huge. We're going to have lots of power. And the North says, you're not counting your slaves, you idiots. Um, you, you don't even, you don't count them as citizens. You don't, ca you don't see them as people. And I know that sounds horrible, but that's the truth. That's, that's what happened, um, unfortunately, in history. And so you're like, the North's like, they don't have rights. You don't, you're not counting them. And the South says, oh, yes, I am. And the North says, oh, no, you're not. So now we have to have a compromise. This is actually a compromise. And we call it the three-fifths compromise. So first off, the South, here's how easy this is going to be in here. What does the South want? The South wants to count slaves for, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? For representation. What does the North want? The North wants to don't count slaves for representation. Now we have a problem here. We either have to count them or we don't. So we have to come up with a compromise. This is actually a compromise. So here's the compromise. This does this compromise doesn't exist anymore because we've outlawed slavery. The great compromise still exists. Three-fifths compromise does not. But you have to know this one. I promise you the test questions on the three-fifths compromise are easy and my students always get it right, okay? So the three-fifths compromise, because remember, why does representation matter? Because it's power to make new laws and laws can change our lives. Okay, so here's the compromise. Count the slaves, don't count the slaves. So hear what they say. For every five slaves, one, two, three, four, five, we're gonna count three of them. So three fifths of the slave population will be counted towards their population. Hence, the actual where history gets it right, they named it the three-fifths compromise. So, for representation, count three-fifths of slaves. So for representation, count three-fifths of slaves for a population count, okay? So here's what's stupid. Now, this time in history, if your state has slaves, you have two populations. You have a population where the actual human beings in your state, and then you have a popu population for representation. 
where, and it sounds so disturbing, you only count three slaves. You only count three slaves as human beings in your state. The other five, it's like they don't even exist. That's disturbing. And it's uh, something we're going to deal with at the end of the school year through history. But three-fifths of the slaves are counted. So it's kind of like, what's the compromise? Count some of them as people. So that's the three-fifths compromise. You'll do great on this one. Again, representation sounds like so totally boring. But if you think of it as what it is, it's power. And guess what? This is going to be huge because eventually some laws are going to be to outlaw slavery or not. Hmm, that's going to be a big law that's going to affect a lot of people's life. And it leads us to a war. So yes, representation and power is a really, really big deal. Okay, so here's what you're going to do to show me that you understand what these two agreements are. And you are going to write a uh, news article. So use your notes if you need to, please. But you are not going to rewrite history. You simply retell it to me. You're summarizing. Some of y'all think... Oh my God, this is going to be hard. And no, it's not. This is really easy. So here's what you're going to do. The Constitutional Convention News Flash. You're going to write me a news report as if someone who is um, sitting underneath a rock. This is blank and I'm reporting live from the Constitutional Convention. Major decisions have been made. i got to take my kid to school now. But okay. The first issue was about right here was about what? You're going to tell me it was about representation. Um, in Congress, use your notes if you need to fill this in. Use your notes where you need to use your notes. The large states wanted. So what does Virginia, this is the Virginia plan. What do they want? Write it down. Do not rewrite history. You're not creating something new. You're summarizing your notes. The small states wanted what? And then what's their solution? What's the second issue about? It has to do with slaves. What does the North want? What does the South want? What's the solution? And write this up in a summary and then sign off. This should tell me, if you can do this without your notes, you are amazing. You have caught on something really quickly. If you can't, that's okay. If you can do part of it with your notes and without, that's great too. And then I want you to reread this to your partner, okay? This is the last thing I'm going to teach you. Um, and then I'm going to be back um, on Monday to teach you uh, in a normal way, okay? Get this done. I want it reread to your partner. Um, and it better look good and make sense. Thanks. That's it. You're done.